Hello everyone. In our previous video, we installed Alpine Mod onto Emacs. Alpine Mod makes Emacs way stronger as a Python editor, but we never got to why that's the case. In this video, we're going to learn the goodies that Alpine Mod brings to Emacs when editing Python code. Let's get to it. We're going to cover autocomplete. We're going to change the backends of autocomplete. We're going to do snippet expansion. We're going to do indentation highlighting, uh, simultaneous editing. And then we're going to move and indent our code with control C greater than and less than sign. So let's get into demo started to recreate a pi project directory. And then let's start this exercise.py Python. Let's look at all the goodies that Alpi has just brought into Emacs. I'm uh, creating this dictionary called A. As soon as I type A dot and hit tab, you can see the autocomplete. This comes from row backend. Look at all the metas that it tells me that A has. And it's just so wonderful. Look at all the, all the descriptions of it. Uh, I hit control G to get out of there. And now I'm going to type four and when I hit, I hit tap, it goes into autocomplete again, but I want to do something else. I want to hit control C K for the snippet expansion. As you saw, um, it just expanded into a for loop and I'm just typing the variable to be W in a, and I'm saying that it's going to print W the value. Um, as you can see that there is this white uh, block every time I hit tap and that tells me the indentation of that block. It's the highlighting of the block. Let's now print W. I type PR and hit tap and it's beautifully autocompleted. I'm printing W times W if larger than 66, you can see all these um, highlighting of the indentations. This can be bothersome for some people, so you can turn it off if you want. You just hit Command X, highlight dash, indentation dash mode, and it will turn it off. And if you want to turn it on again, uh, you just type exactly the same command. Command X, highlight dash, indentation mode. Now it's, I've enabled it again. <laughs> Uh, let's go to another mode. It's called Control C, Control R, which brings up row, which we can do refactoring with. And you can see all of these refactoring actions that are available at the time you hit Control C, Control R, which streamlines refactoring. Uh, when we hit Tab for autocomplete, the help messages come from the row backend, but we can also get it from Jedi. The way we do it is we hit uh, Command X, Alpi set backend, and we change rope to Jedi. Now, when we type A and hit tab, the error message, the help messages have changed, as you can see, and now they come from Jedi. This is a personal preference. Just try both backends, and whichever one you like, you can stick with that. We named the uh, loop variable W, which is a kind of a cryptic name. Let's say that we want to change W to something else. Now we can use the I edit mode, which is Control C O. That's what we mapped it to. And when I change the name of W to something else, all of them changes. So all you have to do is to go onto the element and hit Control C O and um, type whatever you want. All of them will change. I just changed A to my list. Let's add some more logic at the end of our code. I'm adding if element is less than 22, print element bit length. Let's say that I want to move this part of code one level up. The way I do is I select it and I hit control C less than sign. This will move the whole block one level up. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching and good luck with coding.